Okay. Hey guys, my name is Montana. I am a student here at JTEC and I'm going to show you how to check the circuit, headlight circuit and brake light circuits on the stand three. Hey guys, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test to see if the headlights work on this one. So we're going to come this way. <laughs> and they both work. Nice. Hey guys, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the fuse of this car because this one does not have a bit of the headlights. So we're going to take our ground and we're going to take this and clamp and find a stable ground for it. So we're going to try and get this stable because it's not good enough ground. Here and touch the fuse. So you know that's not that's not a good enough ground. So now we're gonna have to go to the battery. If I can even get it on there, there we go. Now we're gonna go try to touch it. See, uh, I can't find it. Hmm. Let's change the ground. Let's actually, let's try here. Let's go actually. There we go. In there, and as you can see, it's generating power. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the ohms of this light bulb. As you can see, it's not a standard OEM light bulb; it's an LED. Now I'm going to set the multimeter to ohms, and I'm going to take negative and positive leads, come in here, and hopefully get them on and get it going first time. So. Open, open, open. Well. Point six ohms coming from this light bulb. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the volts of the connector. So we're going to take the positive and negative leads. We're going to put the positive to the right side, negative into the left one. And let's see if I can get an accurate reading without holding it. So, okay, we're just gonna struggle. We're just gonna struggle. There we go. And it just let it go. There we go. That's 11 volts. So guys, now what we're going to do is so now we have to check the uh, ohms of the brake lights. But first, we're going to check to see if they work. As you can see, they do work. Let's so take the headlight out and the tail light. My bad. We have two bolts on the outside, two bolts on the inside. Take it out completely. But since we already got this one done, we're just going to come over here. Headlights usually, the tail lights usually attached. It's already attached. So the meter's already set to ohms, so we're going to take our leads. Stab ourselves with them. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to. Um, put them on the prongs. And we should have about 1.2 ohms. Guys, so now what we're going to do is we're going to check the voltage of the connector. So we have our thing set to volts. We're going to take our leads. We're going to come in here. We're going to. If I can get him. Oh. There we go. And we have 11.44 volts. Hey guys, so what we're now we're gonna do is we're gonna test the brake pedal switch, which is now which is on top of the brake assembly. So we have our leads from the DVM hooked up to the switch. Now, as you can see, without the the brake pedal depressed, it's at 11.85 volts. When I depress the brake, it's gonna go down to 0 0.3, 0 0.2, next to nothing.